You have just tuned in to the Mag Nerd Podcast, your home for everything in music, anime, and gaming. What is up, guys? Showing up the King here, back with another toy review, and today I am bringing you a review for the custom Nota A Studio uh, SH Figure Arts 112 scale Iron Man. I guess not Iron Man, but Tony Stark bloodied Endgame Infinity Gauntlet and Head Sculpt. All right, I know that was a mouthful. I'll uh, try to condense that later for the actual um, posting of this video. But I am very excited to bring you guys this review. Uh, this is something that I had pre-ordered months ago, and it finally arrived. I actually believe that I'm probably one of the first people on YouTube to actually post a review for this thing and I have checked. I am 100% sure that I'm probably gonna be one of the first people to review this thing. So without further ado, let's get into the review. So what is this? This is a custom uh, Tony Stark head sculpt. It also came with a Infinity Gauntlet from the in-game film and it um, also came with the LED light. So there's a lot I like about this thing. There's a, some things that I do not like about it, but I'm going to get into the, that in full detail for you guys. But before I do, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe if you enjoy the video. Uh, I do put a lot of work into these reviews and I uh, hope you guys do appreciate them. And by showing me that by uh, rating the video positive or negatively, commenting in the section below, and subscribing to the MagNerd Podcast Instagram page. Link will be in the description below. As well as checking out the MagNerd Podcast Facebook group that is now open. And you can check out the latest in video games, anime, manga, and uh, music as well as action figures all right so uh now that we've done the little intro we will be back for the full all right we are back now let's get into this figure so this is again like i said the uh not a studios custom um figure arts for the Iron Man from Avengers Endgame. And yes, before you guys say in the comment section below, this is not the Mark 85, so it's not 100% movie accurate. But to be honest, I don't own the Mark 85 SH Figure Arts. Um, I honestly didn't see the point in buying it because it was pretty much the exact same except for the color scheme. So for me, it's not a big deal. If I happen to pick it up at a cheap price, I will. But for me, the Mark 50 Nano Weapon Set 2 is just fine. All right, so as you can see, let me take this off. Actually, before I actually go into the figure, let's actually look at what the package contained. It came in this cool little tin, and it says uh, Tony with blood, and inside it was the head as well as the gauntlet. Let me take this off real quick. So like I said, it came with this little seal. You take that off, and then the head was here. The arm was here, and if you pull that out, it also came with this. If I can get it out. It came with this little LED. And I'll get into this later. This is a part of my negatives for this review. But uh, we'll get into that later. I want to talk about the positives. And of course, other than that, there was nothing else in there. And here is the figure out of the packaging and let's look at this head sculpt first. So if I want to talk about positives, this is by far one of the best head sculpts that I have ever seen, especially for a custom. This is like, honestly, Tamashi Nations, Bandai, you guys need to take a lesson from some of these third party guys because they are doing it right. Like, look at that detail. This is like, spot on perfect from the blood splotches on his face from the dirt and dust from the battle let me put this down let me get in a close up hopefully it'll be able to auto focus let's see yep here it is it's coming so yeah so if you can see here the paint details on this thing is absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. I mean, zoom out. Yeah, that'll help. Yeah, so see, you can see here, right down to the eyes, 
right down to the face sculpt, to the cut and the blood going down the side of his face, to the chin, it is amazing. And of course, Tony Stark is going to always have his perfectly quaffed hair, even in the at the end of the world. All right. And let's look at this Infinity Glove. And just for the purposes, I'm going to take this off. And here is the Infinity Glove in all its glory. As you can see here, this probably is a better way to do it. And as you can see, they sculpted this very, very nicely. And again, the attention to detail is very much present. You can see the battle damage. You can kind of see the veins and everything popping up in the armor itself just to show you how powerful the gauntlet is and again you can kind of see from here it is not it doesn't have any posability per se it's already in that snapping that snapping phase as you can see here and again you can always and you can actually maybe if I can get it in closer if it zooms in you can actually see the infinity stones all right so and then you can see on the inside it's just kind of hollow now this is what and again out of out of this entire thing I, if i'm talking about the sculpt alone it would get a 10 out of 10 the detail in the different colors you can see you can see here you can see the blue you can see the red you can see the yellow you can see the purple all that is there again even in the thumb you can even see it it's it's there Again, this is one of the best looking sculpts on a 112 scale figure. And the way that you put it on is with the SHF figure arts part. You can just take these arms off because again, they are very interchangeable. And then it's just as simple as sliding down like so. And boom. You have the Iron Man snapping Thanos away. Now, again, if... Let me show you how to take this off. Hopefully it'll come off easily. Yep, it does. Now, what out? And this is what it it came in. So when you actually had the package, it kind of came like this. And I'll show you guys how it actually looked in the container. Just so you can have an idea. So yeah, and again, if you follow my Instagram, I've already posted pictures of it on my Instagram, which is Magnerd Podcast, M A G N E R D Podcast. Check it out. Great photos, link to all the podcast episodes. We will be doing an episode for the end of the year, I promise. All right. So this is what it comes. What well, this is what it looks like in the actual package, and then you just take it out, and you have the head, and then you have the gauntlet. And then, of course, like I said, you have the LED. Now, this getting now again, I am an amateur when it comes to customizing action figures. And I don't know if you guys know, again, if you if you if you are a part of the SH figure art line, then you already know how expensive these things are. But customizing and messing with these things is very, very nerve wracking. Like trying to get this head off of the original Iron Man was very, very difficult. It took a lot of patience. I used a little bit of a uh, blow dryer and I used a little um, tiny screwdriver. Let me see if I can show it to you. Yeah. So I used a tiny screwdriver like this with a flathead. This is it exactly a tiny flathead screwdriver. And I kind of had to wedge it underneath the head and I had to kind of after putting some heat to it just to loosen up the joints a little bit. I had to slowly and gently try to pop this thing off so that it would reveal the head. And then it was just a matter of taking this, taking this and then just dropping it into place like this. And then once you did that, it fits perfectly. Perfectly. And again, the arms themselves are not an issue at all because, again, I also own the... Um, Takara Tony uh, nano weapon set for SH Figure Arts. Um, these actually fit the Iron Man as well. So if you guys want to see a review for the Takara Tony weapon set, I'll put a link in the description or I'll put an annotation somewhere around here just so you can check that out as well. Overall, like I said, the positives outweigh the negatives. And here it's time to actually talk 
about the negatives. All right, so let's put Iron Man right there so I can discuss the negatives about this video. So, one of the biggest selling points for this action figure was the fact that it had a LED effect with the gauntlet and in the gauntlet, it was supposed to glow. It's supposed to glow. It's supposed to show each color of the power surging from the bottom and going to the top. That's like a strobe effect going on with this gauntlet. It's supposed to do that. And that's why it came with the LED. Now, here's the problem. It did not come with any instructions at all. And that is very frustrating for multiple reasons. Number one, again, for some people who don't have a lot of experience with customs like myself, if you don't have any instructions, how the hell am I supposed to know how to actually use the LED? I don't know. So is it supposed to come with a battery that you're supposed to attach to it? Is it supposed to just slide? like if I'm sitting here thinking to myself, oh, okay, maybe there's like a section inside the glove that you plug it into and it gets power. Nope, the glove itself is hollow. And again, this is the battery itself. It's this little tiny bulb. I don't know what that part is. I don't know what kind of wattage it is. I don't know anything. And in this container, there was not a note, not an image, not at least with Ikea. They don't give you like written words, but at the very least, they give you like images, something. There is nothing, nothing that tells you what kind of battery what kind of connection you can put onto this LED does it need to be hardwired? Do you need to push a button? Like, I, I don't know what to do with this. So if any one of you guys out there know what to do with this actual battery, please let me know in the comment section below or reach out to me on Instagram or Facebook because I would love to be able to show you guys what this looks like as what an LED lit up, but I can't do that because I don't know how this damn thing works. So that's kind of frustrating. And the, it, it, it wasn't the same. Well, I guess it wasn't as um, necessary with the um, Mark 50 armor because, to be honest, even with that, it came with a lot of it came with like a lot of stickers and things. But the LED feature on that one as well did not come with instructions. I actually had to find a YouTube video in order to do that. So, um, and again, because I'm one of the first people doing this, there is no YouTube. So yeah, like I said, because there is no instruction manual, there is no indication on how to actually connect it, what kind of power source does the LED need, it is very hard to figure that out. And because of that, it is very, 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 very disappointing in that aspect. But if I'm just using this for a piece, and again, it's not that I was gonna always pose it with the LED feature going in at the same time, I wouldn't do that at all times. That's not the point. I kind of paid for that as one of the features and it would have been nice if they actually gave you instructions on how to do that, especially when they're selling a product like this. But other than that, if I'm just going off of the merit of how the product looks itself, again, this thing is absolutely incredible. I do recommend you buy it. You can buy it on um, Instagram. There are lots of uh, third party sellers that are selling the not a studio stuff. I happened to get mine from Giant Toy, and again, the shipping that they did for me was absolutely incredible. Um, again, I, I definitely was a little bit weary of them, but it ended up working out. But again, thanks to guys for your time. This is my review. Rate, comment, subscribe, and have a great day.